How you doing out there? God bless all of you, everyone. My name is John Wayne McCure, the Sonneteer in beautiful Chandler, Arizona, the Society of Living Poets. And I really like poetry. I've been writing poetry since I was eight years old. Well, this one right here is number 805, 805, and I wrote it 11 years ago. It was true then, 11 years ago. It's even more so now. The name of this sonnet is High School Dropout Rate, 55% spells doom. Doom for what? Doom for America. And nobody's listening. People always want to know your level of education and what you've achieved. They want to know. They want to know what you know. Will this person show up for work regularly? They want to know. Were you tardy or not? They want to know, can you be believed? Do you have credibility? Can you be honest? Can you be trustworthy? Can you have a skill? Are you competent? Do you know what you're doing? Are you going to be a good hire? Are you able to see tasks and jobs and duties through to completion? Can you avoid getting fired? Are you computer literate? Most Americans are not. Think about that. There's no jobs for people that are computer illiterate. And you've got to be able to communicate effectively. You've got to be able to achieve new abilities, working with colleagues without negativity, working with colleagues you don't even like, but you're doing it for the sake of the project, not being negative, even if you want to be. Yeah, can you do that? you got to contribute to the workforce positively, no negativity. you got to behave responsibly. And you got to keep up with postgraduate advancements, education. And I know all of you out there, oh, when I get out of school, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to ever be in school again. Get over it. You're going to be in school all your life just to keep up. And you're going to do it conscientiously. You're going to do it because that's how you survive. I want to know, how is it possible that in Baltimore, the dropout rate in high school is 65%? How is that possible? Somehow, young people actually think they drop out of school and there's going to be jobs there for the ignorant. They can't even show up to earn a high school diploma. It's too hard. Oh, all that work is so hard. Life is so hard. Boo! -hoo. No skills, no recommendations, no resume, no qualifications. So these young people sink to the bottom of job applications. Tardy to work. You're late. They're going to fire you. You're getting canned. You're too drugged out or drunk to even work. Woefully ill trained for any low paying job. That's all you're going to get because you hated doing your homework. You never wanted to work. Now you don't have to. Because nobody will hire you. 70% of students don't get a high school degree diploma in the Indianapolis. Indianapolis, Indiana, 70% of the students don't get a high school diploma. Plenty of dropouts with no future, no jobs, hopeless abysses. The second people open their mouths, all that comes out of it is just terrible profanity, curse words. Absent grammar skills, absent communication skills, ensuring, guaranteeing poverty. They can't write, they can't talk, they can't even show up for work, dependably. Won't America ever wake up to this dropout plague? It is insanity. 75% of students drop out of Detroit schools. That's academic suicide. It's a descent into a permanent underclass of dropouts. A large city, Detroit, a beautiful city once, and now it has died. New York City, the Big Apple, 55% dropout rate before graduation. True disaster for these dropouts. Crime, drugs, incarceration, prison. 
Where are the fathers? Where are the mothers? Whatever happened to America? Care the fathers and mothers? Don't they care about their own family names? Their own flesh? Their own blood? Condemning prosperity for their own children? America is doomed to third world status. We're educationally deficient. The past, we saw kids, they weren't allowed to go to school. Now they can go to school and they won't even try when they're sent. It's a vast fall of the United States from number one in America to third world ignorance and indigence, poverty. But it's going to happen. Why? Because in America, we're free. Freedom and liberty, they're so precious. And a lot of people can't handle freedom. They can't handle liberty. They want a way out. They want someone to show them the way. And nobody's showing them anything. They won't even teach them how to read. And I'm wondering why it is all these millions of young people that can't read, that have no computer skills, and all of the country is going to pay for this. Maybe it's too late. I hope it isn't. God bless us, everyone. May the Lord bless you.